there, friends. Kevin here from the Core Progression Podcast, the podcast inspiring young rock and roll fans to discover new music and help them find a place that can connect and feel accepted. Hey, everybody, I'm doing another reaction. This is my first time ever checking out the band Bandmade. I have heard about this band before. I have been doing a little bit more of the deep dive into more recent babe metal from the past couple of videos, and I thought, let's keep the show rolling, let's keep it going, let's try out Bandmade for the first time and see what happens. Before we jump into the uh, reaction, though, I want you guys to maybe give this video a like to possibly push in the algorithm. If you enjoy it or not, it's right down there. Hit the subscribe button as well to check out all the podcast episodes we have. Make sure you're notified when they come out every single Tuesday and Thursday. Whenever we do reactions, all this good kind of stuff, you're not going to miss out on a lot of great rock and metal bands in the scene that way. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's going to be great. And now, let's see what Bandmate has to offer. You are the best. Ooh, they're already going with like that theatrical, epic style. I'm always a big fan of something like that. Love that violin. Okay, I, I'm just wondering, are we gonna get some heavier stuff? Because I think that's what... Okay, thank God we got some heavier stuff. This is pretty damn cool. Ooh, already. I do like the speed behind this already. You guys know I love that faster pace style, more the manic style behind it. <laughs> okay. A lot of strobes going on in the video, but I don't give a shit. This music is pretty energetic. I know I haven't said much yet, but I'm kind of just taking this all in. This is pretty cool. I do like the bouncing back and forth between the two vocalists as well. Okay, that drummer's got some mad skills with especially doing all those fills. I I'm a big fan of that. I, I would love to see more of that. I mean, I can't help it. I like what I like. Okay, the energy drive on this song is fantastic. I'm I, I think I might be into this. You building something big? Okay, maybe a little more of a lock than I was hoping for, but still, that guitar work is pretty, pretty slow. Ooh, that is tight. <laughs> nice. Okay, that is, that is some slick guitar work. I mean, that solo, just the different notes that you're absolutely hitting every aspect. I mean, they're showing the video, too, and it's been a great thing. I mean, the, the J-pop influence in here with the aggressiveness behind it, I, I can understand why I thought I might actually like this. This is, this is something. This is something awesome. I honestly don't want this to end. I want this song to be like a five minute long thing at this point. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I love that little snark at the end. That was, that was some pretty good stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty, so that was my first time ever checking out Band Made with the song Sense and I'm kicking myself right now for not checking this out earlier than I actually did just now. The reason behind is because what you guys have seen has been that I like a lot of that rock and metal style. If you guys got to know me, if you guys have checked out the podcast, 
I'm much more into that punk rock style, more the metalcore style. So think punk rock like Rise Against, Anti Flag, something that has a good amount of drive, a little about pace to it. More the manic heart, or uh, metalcore stuff. Stuff that's gonna really get you going, driving faster. My favorites being something like We Came as Romans, Ice Nine Kills. Or if we get like more of this blending style in there of all these different genres, and when they go heavier and more manic, I'm more of a fan of it. Like Bring Me the Rise and Bad Omens, Falling Reverse. But when I check out this, I mean. You, you can clearly tell, especially if you're a fan of Bay Metal, especially with the older stuff, especially more of the more technically sound, some of the more really full-on metal style of it, this is going to be a band that's absolutely for you. Now, I know a lot of you might be saying, oh, Kevin, you're just bringing that up. Well, I got to find a way to relate to it somehow. This is my first time ever actually listening to it. Listening to the vocals on this, I love the high pitch difference, especially between the two. I mean, you have, of course, the lead vocalist, and I don't know her name off the top of my head. Also, I have the guitarist that also does some of the secondary vocals or the backing vocals. And with such an aggressive style that they have and such this more fast paced, high energy driven, I mean, having that higher pitched female tone, especially with that Japanese piece behind it. It really shows that contrast, but it shows so much energy behind it as well. And I was really into it. The drumming on this, especially those fills, was something that instantly grabbed my attention. I love the technique that was used there. I love the rapidness, especially a lot of the driving down the toms with the double bass behind it as well. It really brings forward that energy and the aggressiveness that the band really has. I mean, I didn't even talk and mention even during the video about the fact they're all in like, you know, the made outfits, but that just is like the great juxtaposition position of when you see something like this. Yeah, you're going to think, oh, it's all cutesy wootsy and everything. But then you just listen to the music and you're like, oh my Lord, this is absolutely something that is here. The guitar work on this one, very technically sound, very crisp every step of the way. I was personally hoping for a breakdown after the bridge, but the solo we got reminded me of some of that faster paced, more power metal style solo in a way, but not in a power metal way. It just had more of that energy behind it, but it had that tone that really drives a lot of pace, a lot of energy, and a lot of happiness within me. Of course, am I going to really understand the lyrics that are mostly in Japanese? No, but just listening to it, just hearing what would happen. I mean, I think about that intro. Had more of this theatrical intro, which I'm very interested in. And then I'm wondering, you know, I'm hoping we're going to get some of these faster pace, something with more energy behind it. And then the band goes and kicks right into it. I'm 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 thoroughly impressed by this. I am very very happy that I'm going into this now. I'm kicking myself though for the fact that I did not know about this earlier or give this a shot earlier. But it, is this going to be a band that I exper or experience more in the future? Is this going to be a band that I listen to more in the future? Is this a band that I'm going to be able to get into? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. I love what they're doing here. I love the style behind it, especially from this first song. I want to know more. So here's what I want you to do. Go to the comments. Tell me which ba or bandmate, I almost said bandmate, bandmate song I should react to next. And give me some suggestions. Tell me where I should go after this because I don't know where else to go with their music. I could go anywhere. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I want to thank you guys for watching this reaction. Remember, hit that like button if you enjoy it. Hit that subscribe button if you want more of this reaction content. And to check out our podcast as well. We interview a lot of the great up-and-coming rock and metal artists from around the world. And some of the best ones in the scene out there today as well. Become part of our community. I want to thank you guys for that. And on that note, this is Kevin. Thank you guys. And I'm out.